Hello and a very good day. So today we will learn how we can create a fascinating dashboard inside the Microsoft Excel. As you can refer over here in this data, we do have the date, we do have the states, employees, claim expenses and the RM. So based on the given data, what we are going to do is we're going to create a fascinating and simple dashboard inside your Microsoft Excel. So the first step is you put your cursor on the data and then you press Ctrl A. So the moment you press Ctrl A, you will notice that the entire data, the entire table will be highlighted. And then you go to insert and once you go to insert, you go to pivot table. So once you click pivot table, you will notice that a box will appear. The moment you click pivot table, a box will appear, new worksheet and then you press OK. So once you press OK, you will notice that you will go to the new worksheet and on your right hand side, you have pivot table field. So in this case, we all have the, all the headers. So all the headers will be appearing over here. So what I'm going to do is, I just want to make it simple. So perhaps I'll just put the employees at the rows and then I put the RM at the values. So we have the data by employees and the RM. I'm going to copy this and I want to proceed another pivot table and put it over here. So we do have a two different data over here, but this one, I don't want the employees. Instead, I untick the employees and I tick the claims. So we do have a claims data and also we have the employees data. So the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over here. Once I right click, you will notice a menu comment appear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sort and I'm going to sort largest to the smallest. So once I sort largest to the smallest, so the data for the employees will be sorted from the largest to the smallest. And the next thing what I'm going to do is I want to format this data accordingly so that it's in the proper format. So I'm going to press right click, format cells, accounting format, and then zero decimal places and no symbol. And I press OK. So once I press OK, so now we have in a proper format. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I am just want to sort the data from the largest to the smallest. And then I want to format this into a proper accounting format. So that we do have a comma and no decimal places and then no RM. And now the data looks clean and better. So what I'm going to do next is I want to create a dashboard. So what I'm going to do is I just put my cursor over here, go to pivot table analyze and then I go to pivot chart. Okay. And I'll choose bar chart. So I'll choose a bar chart and I press OK. So once now we have created a bar chart, so I just want to make it a bit bigger. I'll just right click on the fill buttons, hide all fill. And then I just want to remove the legends, remove the grid line, and I want to include data label. And then if you notice over here, the data is now is in an ascending order, which means from the smallest to the largest. But I want to sort from the largest to smallest. So how we can do it over here is, I press right click. When I right click, I click on format axis. When I click format axis on the right hand side, a format axis menu will appear. And then I'm going to scroll this down and I'm going to tick on categories in reverse order. So now you have this data in accordingly. So I just want to arrange this. I want to create a new sheet. Go to sheet 5. I want to cut and I'm going to paste it over here. So now we do have this particular data over here. I'll just upkeep. I'm going to arrange this so now it looks better. And maybe I'll just remove the y x axis. So now we have this data over here. And this thing over here, I'll just name it as employees claim expenses. Claim and expenses. And then over here, I just want to create another chart, another part chart regarding the expenses. So I'm going to put my cursor over here, pivot table, pivot chart. I want to choose a column chart. And this time I want to remove the grid lines, the legend. I want to put a data label and this is how it looks like. Right click, hide all fill and now it looks better. I'm going to cut this and I want to paste it over here. So now this is the data. Okay, I'm just want to remove this. So now it looks a bit better. I'm going to adjust the size. 
and I want to do the same so I just adjust the size as well maybe I'll just adjust it over here and I'm going to do the same so that on this side we do have the slicer so now what I'm going to do is I want to go to sheet 5 I put my cursor over here pivot table analyze I want to insert timeline so we do have a timeline we do have a date in our data so this is our timeline okay so one timeline over here and then I also want to insert a slicer so pivot table analyze insert slicer and one for the states and I'm gonna press ok so we do have a states and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and I want to paste it over here so now we do have the start date let me adjust this so that it looks better and I want to put it over here maybe I'll just adjust the size maybe somewhere here and looks better alright so just alright so now we do have the data so now if you just say I click January so we do have the data reflected on January but if you notice on this chart there is no changes so what we can do is we just press right click once you press right click you will notice a menu command will appear and we click report connection and we are going to connect pivot table tree as well and then I press ok and then the same thing I'm just going to press this right click report connection and I want to select pivot table tree as well so we have pivot table 2 and pivot table 3 so this is the data so if just say I click February so we have the data for February if just say I want pair up so we have a date we have no data for pair up if just say I click Kada okay so there's no data over here okay so let us click so we do have this data so if just say I click Slango we do have a data on Slango so this is how we can play around so the next question is now what if just say I have some changes on this data and I want to reflect it in this particular sheet so in this case what we can do is we can actually create a VBA code so for example over here I'm just want to go to this developer tab go to visual basic and I'm going to insert a module so that now we have a new code so this code name is refresh pivot table open bracket close bracket so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deem as deem ABC as pivot table I'm going to do the same deem XYZ as pivot table okay so we do have two, two different pivot table pivot table 2 and 3 so I'm going to put set ABC equal sheets so this sheet is actually sheet 5 and this is actually pivot table 2 and this is actually pivot table 3 so this will be sheet 5 okay and then I'm going to put as pivot table okay, I'm going to copy this so this is 2 and I want to copy this I put this as XYZ and this one will be pivot table 3 the next step is what I'm going to do is I just want to put as ABC refresh table and XYZ refresh table Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I just want to create a insert a box, illustration, shape. So I'm going to put this as update. So I just want to click this. So I want to name this as update. I'll just upkeep, make it in the middle, center, increase the size to 20. Okay, and then I'm right click this, assign macro to refresh pivot table okay so now if they say there's any changes in the data for example now I'm going to put this data as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so if you notice the data has changed into 123 million so what I'm going to do is 
I just want to go to this particular dashboard and I click update. So once I click update, you will notice that this dashboard is being reflected accordingly and being updated accordingly.